Good morning. All right, so I have a 20 by 24 canvas here and I forgot to start the camera when I started layering, so I just turned it back on. Um, I have recently done a few galaxy style straight pours and they're really, really fun to do. So that is what we're going to do again today. Uh, we'll add a little white. So if you guys haven't seen them, it's because I haven't uploaded them, but one's going up today and you'll see it and then the, the other two will follow after that. So, all right, so I'm just layering my cup now. I'm using Prussian Blue, Art Mind Sapphire Metallic, um, Dioxazine Purple, 24K Gold, a mix of um, Thilo Violet with uh, Arteza's Bordeaux Red and <clears throat> Prism Violet. So I'll show you that color in just a second. So that's this wonderful deep purple color. first one I made, I forgot to um, turn the camera on when I layered the cup, and so I don't know which way I layered it in, but it was super pretty. So now I just wing it and pray for the best. <laughs> I also did my other two on 20 by 20 canvases. Uh, this is a 20 by 24, so I will need a little more paint, and I always use more paint than necessary for my pores, just so I can obtain a nice composition or something that I like. Most of the time it works, sometimes it does not. <laughs> but what are you gonna do, right? So I'm going to move these cups out of the way. The second one, I probably could have used a little bit less gold, um, but we'll see. All right, so here we go. There's my cup all layered. Two cups of white here just in case I need extra. Already starting to make a mess. Okay, so next, actually, just add this.
ready. Now let's get down to the pour. My white mix is uh, two parts Floetrol to one part paint um, with about two tablespoons of satin enamel by Americana's DecoArt. DecoArt, Americana, whatever it may, may be. <clears throat> it's that fabulous cloud maker. So, you can already see cells popping up in this. This is pretty crazy. All right, so I'm gonna take my colors and I'm gonna start pouring. And I just stuck my finger in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, man. I'll leave it for now. I was going to do a little cup of it, but I had water in there. I almost splashed all over me. Okay, now I'll let it sit for a minute. I'm going to scrape out this cup. Get all that wonderful paint out of there as much as I can. And then I'll rinse and reuse the cup for next time. Just rotating it around for a minute. Now I'm going to bring it back to the center. 
Oops. Didn't really like that one. I guess we'll... Burn it over here a bit. And here. Torch it again. Just spreading out the white. This is going to help move um, the composition around without over stretching it. Um, and I don't want to lose some of the composition. I want it to flow freely over the edge. <clears throat> oh, some people call it flow extender. Um, I think I had seen that on Mina's page at one point, she had called it flow extender, which is, that's exactly what it is. So I suppose that's as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so we have it all right here. It's developing beautifully. I'm very happy with it. And I'm gonna stretch it out. All right, here it goes. Maybe it was flow aid, I'm not sure. And we'll come down to this corner. And we're gonna go back. Right over here. And we're gonna come back. <laughs> a lot of back and forth, but I'm trying to stretch it as much as I can before going over the edges, because that's when you start losing bits and pieces. We'll go this way now. For a minute here. You can definitely tell where I touched the center when lifting the cup up. Oh, but it's sort of cool.
down to this corner. That's my cat, she's sneezing. This one is so beautiful. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. <laughs> you don't wanna rush it. I gotta get this all over here. I can't even turn it towards you guys because, eh, maybe I can. There we go. Now you guys will be able to see it's a corner part. I like this. This is really cool. All right. So I love this one. This is like a space cave. Um, all right, definitely a different, slightly different outcome, um, but let me bring you guys in. Colors are just incredible in this piece. I, I'm like, I love this color combination. It's now one of my favorite. But it's just, it's so cool. It looks like a rocky cave. And this is the path in. That right there is where I put my finger accidentally in the beginning. I mean, just uh, so pretty. I'm gonna get on this side so you can see the detail. There we go. Yeah, I'm really happy with this piece. All right, well guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the love and support, your comments, questions. I will get to them all. Um, what else? Uh, I have a PayPal me link uh, below if you'd like to make a donation towards my um, endeavors to create great art for you guys and for myself. Um, so that's below. I thank you all who have. And uh, in my next video, I'll make that announcement with a list of the people that have and just let them know that send them back the love and I appreciate it. Um, other than that, I think that's it. And uh, you guys enjoy your day. Bye for now. Thank you.